Okay, today we're going to prove that a quadrilateral is a square. And you can do that by proving that all angles are 90 degrees, which would involve finding the slope, kind of like we did with the rectangle, and all the sides are congruent, which would be the distance formula. You could also prove that the diagonals are congruent, using the distance formula, perpendicular slope, and they bisect each other by finding the midpoint. You could also prove that it's a rectangle using any method, like for example, all the angles are 90 degrees. And you could show that any two adjacent sides are congruent, so two sides next to each other are the same length. Or you could show it's a rhombus, usually showing that all sides are the same, and show that there's one right angle using the slope. So the method I'm going to use to prove that this quadrilateral rice is a square is I'm going to find all the slopes, all the distances, and then write a sentence that just explains what we saw. So let's start with the slope. So for ri, you go down 3 over 1, which gives a slope of negative 3. For ic, over 3 up 1. So with that, slope of 1 third. For ie, or ce rather, sorry. It's again down 3 um, over 1, so negative 3. And finally, I think you can see that this one would also be a 3 and a 1 with a slope of 1 third. So that's all the slopes right there. Now if you notice, all of these distance formulas use 3 and 1 in some capacity. And the hypotenuse is what you're looking for. So you can honestly just show the work once. You can just show 3 squared plus 1 squared equals x squared for the distance, and we get 9 plus 1 equals x squared, 10 equals x squared, we take the square root to find the distance, and the distance is radical 10 for all of these sides. So we've done all the math we need to do now, now we just need to write a sentence that explains it. First I'm just going to box this up and give a little arrow just in case. So, let's write that sentence explaining why rice is a square. So my sentence said, rice is a square because all sides are the same length, radical 10, and adjacent sides are perpendicular because they have opposite reciprocal slopes, negative 3 and 1 third.